CDL School Bus, Passenger Vehicles Mega Quiz. 81 Questions Question 1. The driver who misses the child to unload at a bus stop should Radio the dispatcher for direction and follow the local procedure. Back up to the missed stop. Discharge the child on the next stop. The correct answer is Radio the dispatcher for direction and follow the local procedure. Question 2. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if required by company policy. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Always. The correct answer is always. Question 3. What is the value of the overhead rear view mirror inside of the bus? To provide visibility directly in the back of the bus. To monitor passenger activity. To monitor the driver's appearance. The correct answer is to monitor passenger activity. Question 4. After deciding the type of evacuation that is necessary, the next step you must take is securing the bus. Dangle the radio microphone out of the driver window for later use. Notifying the dispatch office of the evacuation. The correct answer is Securing the bus. Question 5. By law, school buses must be equipped with a, an underscore lights overhead warning system as a method of controlling traffic at a school bus stop. 6. 4. 8. The correct answer is 8. Question 6. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is dark and poorly lighted, as safe as possible, or the next stop. The next stop. Off the regular route. The correct answer is as safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 7. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 25. 15. 20. 50. The correct answer is 15. Question 8. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only on the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. On any or all of the wheels. The correct answer is Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 9. You should adjust all the outside left and right side flat mirrors to see 200 feet behind the bus. The rear right and left tires touching the ground. Both of the above. The correct answer is both of the above. Question 10. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should not allow the rider to do it. Have the rider pay a second fare. Tell the rider to go to the rear of the bus. Instruct the rider to sit next to an open window. The correct answer is not allow the rider to do it. Question 11. 
the bus driver must accept responsibility for supervising and controlling students while on the bus route. Who is the person in charge? Bus driver Students on the bus Parents of the students on the bus The correct answer is Bus driver Question 12 Why is the proper adjustment and use of all mirrors so vital to the safe operation of the school bus? In order to observe the danger zones around the bus In order to clear up blind spots around the bus In order to observe the danger zones around the bus and look for the students, traffic and other objects in this area. The correct answer is In order to observe the danger zones around the bus and look for the students, traffic, and other objects in this area. Question 13 Andy Lock Brakes Keep your wheels from locking during hard brake application. Work only when you activate in cab switch. Short and stopping distance. The correct answer is Keep your wheels from locking during hard brake application. Question 14 How should you brake in a bus with ABS brakes? Apply the brakes and back off the brakes prior to the final brake to stop. Pump the brakes in an emergency situation. Apply the brakes as usual. The correct answer is Apply the brakes as usual. Question 15 Which of the following statements about bus evacuation is true? If time allows, back up to the stop before evacuating the bus. If time allows, notify the dispatcher about evacuation location, conditions, and type of assistance needed. If time allows, walk through the bus and close all windows. The correct answer is If time allows, notify the dispatcher about evacuation location, conditions, and type of assistance needed. Question 16. What is the next step after securing the bus when you have an unruly child on board? Stand up and speak respectfully to the offender. If a change of setting is needed, have the student move to a seat near you. Unload the student at the next stop. Call school administrator or the police to remove the student. The correct answer is Stand up and speak respectfully to the offender. If a change of setting is needed, have the student move to a seat near you. Question 17 Out of all spaces around your bus the most important one is To the rear On the side To the front The correct answer is To the front Question 18. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Riders are protected from falling or shifting packages. The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. All of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. Question 19. When checking the handicap lift, the things you should look for are leaking, damaged, or missing parts and make sure that the lift is 25% retracted and latched. Leaking, damaged, or missing wheelchairs. Leaking, damaged, or missing parts and make sure that the lift is fully retracted and latched. The correct answer is Leaking, damaged, or missing parts and make sure that the lift is fully retracted and latched. Question 20 
How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 8 4 0 6 The correct answer is 8 Question 21 You should conduct a post-trip inspection. You should walk through the bus and around the bus. You should sweep inside the bus. You should do and report results monthly. The correct answer is You should walk through the bus and around the bus. Question 22 To be a school bus driver, individuals must pass the following written tests. CDL General Knowledge, Air Brake Endorsement School bus endorsement. CDL general knowledge, hazardous material endorsement, school bus endorsement. CDL general knowledge, passenger endorsement, school bus endorsement. The correct answer is CDL general knowledge, passenger endorsement, school bus endorsement. Question 23. You should adjust all the outside left and right side crossover slash cross view mirrors to see 200 feet behind the bus. The entire area to the rear of the mirror along the side of the bus. The right and left front tires touching the ground. The correct answer is the right and left front tires touching the ground. Question 24. What is the most important reason for doing a school bus inspection? For safety required by federal, state and local laws. To assist the principal with their report. To give the mechanic something to do. The correct answer is. For safety required by federal state and local laws question 25 you should activate hazard lights within approximately how many feet before railroad crossing 300 feet 200 feet 400 feet the correct answer is 200 feet question 26 Never refuel your bus with a higher grade of fuel, with any of the windows open, without a static chain, in a closed building with passengers on board. The correct answer is in a closed building with passengers on board. Question 27. Passive railway crossing. The type of crossing on which the driver does not have to stop. The type of crossing which does not have any type of traffic control device. The type of crossing with no cross buck sign. The correct answer is the type of crossing which does not have any type of traffic control device. Question 28. Your bus is disabled. With riders aboard, the bus may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. By a 27,000 pounds GVWR or larger tow truck. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. If the distance is less than 500 yards. The correct answer is If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 29 Which of the following statements about special danger of loading and unloading is true? Students should be told not to use the handrails when exiting the bus due to the possibility of causing a clothing hang-up. 
students should be told to leave any dropped objects and move to the point of safety out of danger and get the driver's attention to retrieve the object. Students should be told to pick up any dropped objects as long as it is not under the bus. The correct answer is Students should be told to leave any dropped objects and move to the point of safety out of danger and get the driver's attention to retrieve the object. Question 30. School buses are one of the safest means of transportation. What two key factors contribute to this impressive safety record? Vehicles and police. Vehicles and drivers. Vehicles and road conditions. The correct answer is Vehicles and drivers Question 31 You must not allow riders to stand Between the wheel wells Within two feet of any window In front of the standee line Within two feet of an emergency exit The correct answer is in front of the standee line. Question 32. Which of the following should you do when driving the school bus in high wind? Avoid pulling off the road to wait. Speed up to get away from the wind as quickly as possible. Keep a strong grip on the steering wheel and try to anticipate gust. The correct answer is Keep a strong grip on the steering wheel and try to anticipate gust. Question 33 How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 4 8 0 6 The correct answer is 0 Question 34. The properly adjusted outside left and right side convex mirrors allow visibility in what area? The entire side of the bus up to the front tires at ground level, front of the rear tires touching the ground, and at least one traffic lane on either side of the bus. The area directly in front of the bus. Front of the rear tires touching the ground the entire side of the bus up to the mirror mounts, and at least one traffic lane on either side of the bus. The correct answer is Front of the rear tires touching the ground, the entire side of the bus up to the mirror mounts, and at least one traffic lane on either side of the bus. Question 35 All mirrors should be viewed in what manner? simultaneously every four seconds in a logical sequence to ensure that a child or object is not in any of the danger zones in a logical sequence checking traffic and passengers every five seconds the correct answer is in a logical sequence to ensure that a child or object is not in any of the danger zones Question 36. What should you do if you have lost ABS control at one or more wheels? Drive faster so your ABS yellow malfunction lamp will go out. Call dispatch to report the problem. Drive normally because you still have regular brakes but have the system serviced soon. The correct answer is Drive normally because you still have regular brakes but have the system serviced soon. Question 37. Immediately after stopping you should first Activate alternating amber lights. Activate alternating red lights and ensure stop harm is extended. Get the children onto the bus as quickly as possible. The correct answer is 
activate alternating red lights and ensure stop arm is extended. Question 38. What is a passive railroad crossing? Railroad crossing that has a traffic control device installed at the crossing to regulate traffic. Railroad crossing that is no longer in use. Railroad crossing that does not have any type of traffic control device. The correct answer is Railroad crossing that does not have any type of traffic control device. Question 39. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must be secured when the bus is being driven. Not have any signs, stickers, or markings near it. Always have a red door light turned on. All of the above. The correct answer is Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 40. Which following statement best explains what to do when a school bus is stalled on the track at a railroad crossing? Driver should keep everyone quiet and call dispatcher for directions. Driver should evacuate the bus and have students in a group directly behind the bus. Driver should evacuate the bus and move students away from the tracks on the angle toward the oncoming train. The correct answer is Driver should evacuate the bus and move students away from the tracks on the angle toward the oncoming train. Question 41 In addition to checking for spare electrical fuses, three red reflective triangles and a properly charged and rated fire extinguisher, school bus drivers must also inspect the following emergency equipment. Emergency kit a body fluid cleanup kit. Three red burning flares, safety belts in all seats. Three flares of any type and alcohol. The correct answer is Emergency kit, a body fluid cleanup kit. Question 42. When approaching the stop within the corporate limits of a town or city, you should activate alternating flashing amber lights within how many feet before the stop? 200 to 300 or approximately 5 to 10 seconds or in accordance with state law. 400 or approximately 20 seconds. 500 or approximately 30 seconds. The correct answer is 200 to 300 or approximately 5 to 10 seconds or in accordance with state law. Question 43. A battery box check is important. The battery must be secure, connection must be tight, and cell caps must be present. In addition these items should be checked. Battery connections should not show signs of excessive corrosion and the battery box and cover or door should not be damaged and should be secure. Battery connection should show signs of excessive wear. Battery connections should not show signs of excessive corrosion, but the battery box and cover or door is unimportant. The correct answer is Battery connections should not show signs of excessive corrosion, and the battery box and cover or door should not be damaged and should be secure. Question 44. The school bus driver may be the only contact person from school system some parents meet. The percentage of such parents is as high as 85%, 50%, 60%, the correct answer is 85%. Question 45. When stopping on a railroad crossing the driver must stop no closer than 15 feet, 10 feet, 20 feet.
The correct answer is 15 feet. Question 46. What color are all school buses painted? Fluorescent yellow. National school bus yellow. Orange yellow. The correct answer is National School Bus Yellow. Question 47. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are applied. Stopping time increases by one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. The correct answer is You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 48. During loading and unloading students you should check your mirrors. After entering the traffic. After you close the door. Continuously. The correct answer is. Continuously. Question 49. Which of the following will confirm that you are driving with anti-lock brakes? Red indicator lamp on the brake cylinder. Yellow ABS malfunction lamp on the instrument panel will light when you start the engine. The certification on the driver side door. The correct answer is Yellow ABS malfunction lamp on the instrument panel will light when you start the engine. Question 50. Which of the following is a recommended procedure when unloading the students? Put the transmission in neutral gear and put on the brakes. Tell students to remain seated until they are told to exit. Position yourself outside of the bus in front of crossover mirror to supervise unloading. The correct answer is Tell students to remain seated until they are told to exit. Question 51 On a bus, you may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs, or hospital supplies. The total weight of all such hazardous materials must not be greater than 100 pounds 500 pounds 300 pounds 250 pounds The correct answer is 500 pounds Question 52 When should you activate your alternating flashing amber warning lights? Only if there's immediate danger 300 to 500 feet before school bus stop. 100 to 300 feet before school bus stop. The correct answer is 100 to 300 feet before school bus stop. Question 53. The most dangerous time during the school bus ride is Crossing Railway Crossing When the students become unruly on the bus When loading and unloading students The correct answer is When loading and unloading students Question 54 The blind spot behind the bus could extend to how many feet? 100 400 200 The correct answer is 400 Question 55 Before crossing any highway rail crossings in a school bus, 
be sure the bus has enough containment to completely clear the railroad tracks. As a general rule, how much space is considered an acceptable amount of containment for a school bus? The length of the bus plus 15 feet. The length of the bus plus 10 feet. The length of the bus plus 25 feet. The correct answer is the length of the bus plus 15 feet. Question 56. If students must cross the street when they get off the bus, which statement is true? When the driver signals that it is safe to proceed, the students must run across the street to reduce the exposure to danger. If the bus is equipped with the crossing gate, the danger of running over the child is eliminated. For crossing, students should make eye contact with the bus driver and wait for the driver's signal that it is safe to proceed. The correct answer is For crossing, students should make eye contact with the bus driver and wait for the driver's signal that it is safe to proceed. Question 57 Why is understanding the loading and unloading procedures so critical? Because motorists ignore students walking to school. Because only high school students understand how to cross the road because more students are killed while getting on and off a school bus each year. The correct answer is because more students are killed while getting on and off a school bus each year. Question 58. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 5 feet 30 feet 50 feet, 100 feet. The correct answer is 50 feet. Question 59. How far should students exit the bus and walk to? The distance it takes to clear the danger zone. At least 8 feet away from the side of the bus at least 10 feet away from the side of the bus. The correct answer is at least 10 feet away from the side of the bus. Question 60. By law, the warning lights must only be used when approaching a sharp turns, stop to load or unload students, busy intersection, The correct answer is Stop to load or unload students. Question 61 When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Rider signaling devices are working. Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. All of the above have been checked. The correct answer is All of the above have been checked. Question 62 When approaching a school bus stop, you should Activate your overhead amber lights Continuously check all mirrors Do both of the above The correct answer is do both of the above. Question 63. Check that the entry door is not damaged and operates smoothly and closes securely from the remote location. Operates smoothly and closes securely from the outside. Operates smoothly and closes securely from the inside. The correct answer is Operates smoothly and closes securely from the inside. Question 64 When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Before and after signaling the change. 
right after starting the lane change. After completing the lane change. All of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. Question 65. Overhead inside mirror is used to see all of the students. Monitor traffic that approaches and enters the blind spot area. See the blind spot immediately behind the bus. The correct answer is See all of the students. Question 66. You should adjust all the outside left and right side convex mirrors to see 200 feet behind the bus. The entire area to the rear of the mirror along the side of the bus. The right and left front tires touching the ground. The correct answer is the entire area to the rear of the mirror along the side of the bus. Question 67. What is the safest way to stop unruly behavior on the bus? Pull off the road in a safe location, secure the bus, stand up, and tell the students what behavior you expect of them. Have the unruly students move to the front of the bus. Keep checking the rear view mirror so you can see what happened and report to the principal. The correct answer is Pull off the road in a safe location, secure the bus, stand up, and tell the students what behavior you expect of them. Question 68 Which of the following is a reason to evacuate the school bus? The bus is stalled on the shoulder of a four-lane divided highway and it is getting hot inside. The bus is stalled on a railroad track. But there is no train in sight. The bus ABS warning light is on. The correct answer is The bus is stalled on a railroad track, but there is no train in sight. Question 69 Which of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with passengers? Tear gas, emergency drug shipments, emergency hospital supplies, small arms ammunition, ORMD. The correct answer is tear gas. Question 70 The golden rule for school buses when approaching and crossing railroad tracks is stop. Look, and listen. Stop, look, and turn on the radio lights overhead. Stop, go, and stop. The correct answer is Stop, look, and listen. Question 71 Most states require school bus drivers to take a physical examination. Every five years. Annually. Every three years. The correct answer is annually. Question 72. You must be alert for road hazards so that you will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impaired drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. The correct answer is You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 73 If the gate comes down as you start to cross the railroad highway crossing you should Back up until you are completely off the tracks. Stop immediately and call your dispatcher. Drive through the gate.
The correct answer is Drive through the gate. Question 74. The driver must make sure that Emergency exit warning devices, if present, are working. All emergency exits are not damaged, operate smoothly, and close securely from the inside. All of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. Question 75. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, and reflectors. Reflectors, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Hydraulic jack fire extinguisher, and signal flares. The correct answer is fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, and reflectors. Question 76. If you are loading students on the route and cannot account for them, ask other students if they saw missing persons. Secure the bus and adjust the mirrors. Secure the bus, take the key and check around and underneath the bus. The correct answer is Secure the bus, take the key and check around and underneath the bus. Question 77 What school bus accidents should be reported? None all only if there is injury the correct answer is all question 78 at a railroad crossing the bus is required to stop at the stop line if there is no clearly marked stop line what is the required minimum and maximum stopping distance no closer than 15 feet and no further than 30 feet, where you have the best view of the tracks. No closer than 10 feet and no further than 40 feet, where you have the best view of the tracks. No closer than 15 feet and no further than 50 feet, where you have the best view of the tracks. The correct answer is no closer than 15 feet and no further than 50 feet, where you have the best view of the tracks. Question 79. The CDL manual indicates the last step on picking up students at the bus stop is as follows. Make a final check to confirm all traffic stops before opening the bus door and signaling students to approach. Open the service door just enough to activate the alternating red light when traffic is in a safe distance from the bus. Place transmission in park or neutral and set parking brake. The correct answer is Make a final check to confirm all traffic stops before opening the bus door and signaling students to approach. Question 80. At bus stops where more than one child is unloaded, which procedure most likely prevents an unloading obstacle? The driver ensures the students are seated in the bus before leaving the stop. The students cross the street one at a time, not as a group. The driver counts the students as they disembark before moving. The correct answer is The driver counts the students as they disembark before moving. Question 81 During loading or unloading procedure the students should cross the road in front of the bus within underscore feet. 10 6 8 The correct answer is 10 Thanks for watching.